Virgo, what's the word, yo? It is me, right? It is she, right? It is V, right? It is Scorpion, Red Tarot, and I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Did you miss me, baby? Because I surely missed you. We ain't here to find out what the energy is surrounding you for the month of September. We gonna make this a month, remember, baby? We winding it on down. We we're getting closer to the end of the year celebration, you guys. Have y'all made y'all uh not resolution? I don't care about no resolution i'm looking for three point goals going into 2024 because 2024 finna give us some more y'all so listen y'all you, you you know y'all virgos y'all perfectionists and stuff like that so you know maybe that's just a little a little, little, little something I'm just going to sprinkle on you right now. We're winding it down. So, like, prepare yourself now. You know, prepare yourself now, baby. So, listen, enough about that. Why am I churching y'all up up on here? Okay, so, listen, shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing this video. Um, We're going to go ahead and give Father God praise and thanks before we get into any message. So, Father God, thank you so much for blessing us in the sign of Virgo. Thank you so much for waking us up today. Thank you so much for listening to every single word that we pray father god you be so stepping in our life father god we see how you move and you don't play about us father god we thank you so much for your coverance we thank you for your deliverance father god we thank you for gifting us with the uh nurturing hand you know because like it's something about our energies like we 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 give this healing energy to people and we just thank that we could provide that to other people um, and surround us, Father God, by people that could provide that nurturing hand back to us. You know, we want to be regenerated as well. So, Father God, thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons that you brought forth in our life. It's made us stronger and it made the true blessings last long because we know how to deal with it. We know how to manage it now in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, give us the guidance that we need to receive for today. And thank you for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hello. Let's get into it. All right, Virgo. Let's see what the word is for you for September. Give me some guidance for Virgo. Give me one card for Virgo. What's what we got here? We got the love life card. We got love life. Love life. Oh Lord. Why, hold on, why the song popping in my head? Life, 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 life. Why did I get life, life, life? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me stop. Oh, my God. Come on, Casey and JoJo. It says affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart. As difficult situations will be resolved by good decision later on this week. Uh oh. All right. Maybe that's got some. I don't know what the the words is in that song. Y'all go and pull up the words to that song, Life by Casey and JoJo. Because I have no idea why that just popped in my head. But maybe the words to that song is significant. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems. But take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by good decisions later on this week. Look, Virgo going to get it straightened out. I'm a fiction. Okay, come on now. I'm a fiction. And I ain't going to miss you. Hello. Hello. I'm a fiction. And I ain't going to miss you. All right. Let's see. Let's get one card for Virgo for September. Tell us what's going on with this love life. I, okay, you got you got a lot. That's a lot. I just seen. Okay. Well, we got. I got new beginning though. But it came by way of. Did I put. All, what, what did I do with those cards? Ugh. Those cards that had popped out. It was. It was work. Um. God. It was like. Oh, I forgot it. I want to say it was work. Heaven. And something else. So with that being said. Whatever the heck type of. Foolishness is going on in your love life. It's going to take some work for you. But spirit got his hands on this. It's going to be a new beginning. New beginning. Rejuvenation. You hear me Virgo? You don't worry about this. God got his hands on this. Because he done showed himself. And it's work that's going on in the back end that you don't see that's going on. 
you just focus on what you need to do and it's going to okay come on it says the turning point return the start of a new cycle right time regeneration and nevability steady improvements didn't i tell y'all look god don't play when it comes to give his message he don't play he don't play and i wanted to put those cards back but those cards that had popped out initially they were meant to be here and i should have kept them but i put it back because it was meant for you to see this if i didn't do that y'all would have never seen this it's regeneration I just heard recycling of old affairs. There would be no more recycling of old affairs. I just heard it's time to like really like finito, like let it go. I just heard swallowing of old skins. Like eating dead skin. Oh, that's so nasty. Like, you know, like when we were kids, you used to pick your dead skin and eat your dead skin. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. It's like consuming waste. So, I don't give a damn if you're a Virgo or not. If you just so happen to just be watching this video and you just needed to hear that. Just like eating your boogers. And I'm not trying to discuss y'all out, but keep allowing old shit to resurface only for you to keep consuming the same bullshit. It's just like eating your boogers or picking old scabs. You understand what I'm saying? And eating the, the, the scabs because now you, you're you eating old wounds and you don't broke the, the flesh back up. So now it got to heal all over again. And it's like, it's why her stop picking at yourself? Why are y'all telling me that? Someone must be doing that. Or it might be a child that, because I am seeing like a child... That keeps picking at a wound or something like that. Or somebody is picking at a wound. And won't allow themselves to heal. It's like they keep opening it up. And, it, it, and they're consuming waste. I've never thought of this to even like. Explain a situation like that. But I promise you this is making so much sense to me. I never looked at someone eating their. Ugh, oh, it is disgusting. It's going to fall off. Like, it's going to dry up and it's going to fall off. And you're going to make, you're going to make the scarring worse. And it makes so much more sense, especially when you think about life and someone keep picking up old shit and keep trying to repurpose old shit. It's going to keep falling apart. It's going to fall apart faster because the old patchwork that you put on it, it's not, it's not going to hold up. And then you just keep putting more shit on top of shit, trying to repurpose something that's gone. Like, mm -mm. experience and you got the three wands. So your ships are coming in. And again, you guys maybe feeling something that's different where you're realizing that the grass is green or on the other side i just haven't experienced it yet so it's like a recycling of old mess because i want to say it kind of feel look at look at what the snake is doing you know what i'm saying it's like going around in this maze or whatever keep like i said we're consuming old skins that's what it was saying like old skins like you've already went through that cycle you went through that phase allow it to close allow things to pass you by allow a resolve in the true completion of the cycle what is it saying again the turning point return the start of a new cycle, the right time and regeneration, inevitability, steady improvement. So allow God to do his work. Allow your heart a second 
to repurpose itself on its own is going to create a scab you don't need to pick at it even if you see the scab lifting don't take don't mess with it it's going to fall off on its own if you go and try to rip the scab off too early now it has to reheat do y'all y'all get what i'm saying I just, I just heard, give you a chance to see what a new life looks like. And again, I don't even think, like you're going to, I just heard adaptability. You're going to adapt and you're going to love this way better. Like the grass is honestly greener on the other side. Do not consume, consume old skins. Wait, God knows what he's doing. Wait, and when it's time for you to go, go. You had a turning point. It's new beginnings. And again, like I said, affairs of the heart could cause future problems if you keep consuming old skins. But take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision later on this week. You know, the three of wands is typically when shit that you've been praying for starts to show up and you already ready and prepared because you got your bags packed and you sitting at the bus stop and you was waiting for the bus to come and you about to hop on and there's no looking back none and you you're going to be enjoying yourself and you're going to be so comfortable you're not even going to remember none of this shit none of it none of it all right, you guys, tell me what's going on down in the comments. Let me know what's going on in the chat. Let me know if this resonates. Please hit the like button. That is a free way to just send love and support to me. I appreciate you. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.